There are new pricing structures to Google Workspace for education coming out next year. There's still the free version, but then there are others, and it's based upon storage limits. Where we used to believe we had unlimited storage in Google Drive, uh, districts will now be forced to make some decisions based upon how much storage is needed. So one thing I like to do every spring is clean out my Google Drive a little bit. Here's one quick tip once you're in Google Drive. Um, if you click on storage on your bottom left hand side where it shows how much you've used personally in your Google Drive, you can see uh, based upon storage used which ones are taking up the most amount of space. So I can take a look at some of these larger files, usually video files or zip files of backups, things like that, and you can actually delete those. Now don't forget once you're in the trash, you will also want to make sure you trash those or delete them forever but that'll free up some of your space and, and the amount used at the bottom should lower down a little bit, saving you and your district some space and time.